And before I get to your calls here, I just want to go ahead and say this is going to be, um, we won't be doing a show uh, next Saturday. It will be Christmas Eve. And um, if I don't get a chance, I'd like to go ahead and just wish everybody a, a safe and uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, you know, and if you're traveling, there's certain things that I do want to bring to your attention. If you're traveling up north, uh, there's going to be nothing more important than me uh, mentioning that uh, you need to make sure that you your antifreeze in your car is uh, good for probably... Uh, you know, 20, 30 below zero, uh, when you take windshield factors into account, you can always be in a situation where these things can freeze even when it's, you know, 10 degrees outside sometimes if there's wind blowing. The other thing is, is make sure your windshield washer antifreeze is up to, up to par. Now, you know, we all know when you take a vehicle into extremely cold weather, uh, you know, antifreeze is very important. And there's one thing that a lot of folks do not uh, take into account, and that is with your hybrids and your electric vehicles. Folks, you got cooling systems in these vehicles as well. And it's double important that you make sure that you have, um, you know, coolant uh, that can withstand extremely, extremely cold temperatures. I cannot stress what will happen if your cooling system freezes up and was to burst in an electric vehicle you're talking about a bomb so it, it's it's very important to make sure that the coolant condition is in good shape and to make sure that it can withstand extremely cold weather without freezing because if it does you could like i said be dealing with with a very 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 dangerous situation uh... so uh, kind of keep that in mind. And just because you've got a brand new vehicle, it doesn't mean nothing if you're taking a vehicle up north or if you're going out west. Um, there has been many a case where a vehicle is only good to about 20 <laughs> degrees, 10 degrees, 50-50 uh, uh, coolant uh, water mix is normally not enough in extremely cold, frigid weather. So if you're dealing with zero and below, um, Always make sure that you've got a mixture that's good for probably 30 or 40 below because when you take the wind chill into effect, uh, you know, you can get, you can be 10 degrees outside or 10 below zero, but with wind, it could be 40 and 50 below zero and it'll freeze a cooling system solid. Just make sure that you got a good mix in there. Even if it's a brand new vehicle, at least have it tested before you hit the road and start heading into some really cold weather. And this time of year, I do always want to mention one other thing too. When you the colder the the, the weather gets, um, the more important it is for you to look at where your vehicle was parked. And the reason for that being is it, it's when when things get cold, they they'll contract. When they get hot, they will expand. And and that goes double for uh, oil and coolant seals, like seals in your water pumps, for example. And what will happen is you'll drive a vehicle, you know, and you park it, and everything's fine. There's no leaks. There's no nothing. No problems whatsoever. But when it sits overnight, and let's say the temperature drops, you know, severely, and you get down in below freezing, these seals will contract, and in a lot of cases, you can literally empty a cooling system completely out underneath the vehicle, and you not even know it. So, and then you'll back out, and you're starting to head to work or wherever you're going, and the next thing you know, you're winding up with a severe overheat. So it's real important to always look under the vehicle when you back your car out of the garage or whether you're out of the driveway or whatever. Just always look underneath of it, or if you're leaving work, just kind of look up underneath of it. If you see a big old fresh new puddle underneath where you were parked, chances are you may have some issues going on there. But it's up to you as a driver. That's just some simple little thing that you can do just to ensure that you're going to make it back home or to work that day. But always double check that. And if you do see a big puddle underneath the car, make sure you check your oil and check your cooling system to make sure that it's topped off because there's most likely a leak involved with it. And you'll start seeing this as the, the cooler temps uh, start, you know, uh, fading in, in and out of the Orlando area and Central Florida area. 